Summer is almost over, but don't be sad, we've got some great indie games coming this month. We've got some amazing games, some that were already covered in previous videos as the release dates were moved a bit, but that's okay. So yeah, I made some other videos about upcoming games from previous months, so you might have missed some great new titles, go ahead and check them out. But now, we will quickly jump to the list, and as always, remember that the games are listed by the release date, so don't worry about the placements. And if you want to stay up to date with new videos, consider subscribing to my channel and joining my Discord server. Also, don't forget to leave a like and tell me in the comments which game from this list is your favorite. Let's start the list with Necroking. This is a turn-based tactics roguelite with vast deck building. Even though, graphically, this title looks kinda simple. Don't be fooled, I mean, I really like this style to be honest, I have a weakness for pixel art as you probably already know, so yeah. You will take the role of a Necro King and embark on a journey to bring chaos and destruction. You will use necromancy to raise an army of skeletons and other nightmarish creatures to conquer your enemies and build your empire. Every playthrough is unique, as it is a regulated game. You will build your deck full of unusual cards and engage in strategic real-time battles with your enemies. This title looks really amazing, so be sure to keep an eye on it. Now if you like Slay the Spire, then first of all check out my video about games similar to Slay the Spire, and second, look at this title. This is Demon's Mirror, and it's a very unique approach to deck building games. You will discover over 200 cards and create your ultimate deck. You will use cards with the ability to destroy enemies with massive damage, but also cards with synergies and clever combos to punish your enemies. But that's not all. You also have control over the grid. You can manipulate it using cards and unleash combos upon enemies while chaining tiles to attack, defend, gather resources or decrease your enemy's power. This makes the game even more complex and challenging, but for most even more interesting. Apart from that, there is your usual map movement system with choices, merchants, characters to play with, trinkets and many, many more mechanics you already know from similar games. This one looks fun, so give it a try. If you enjoy fast-paced games filled with action, guns and quick movement, then this one's for you. You play as a retired secret agent who is asked to do one last job. However, declining the job turns into a furious guerrilla war between you and them. You will leave the forest littered with bodies, outsmart your opponents and use the equipment against them. Wield pistols, sniper rifles, bear traps and much much more in this run and gun game where you jump, dash, shoot, run and repeat. All set in a lush comic book inspired art style that brings back memories of games like Serious Sam where running and shooting were your main purpose. It really looks fantastic. Mirthwood is an enchanting medieval RPG life simulation set in an immersive fantasy sandbox world where you can choose who you want to be. You will have the opportunity to manage your own homestead, build a farm, plant and harvest crops, raise animals and craft items and gear. You can also explore this beautifully handcrafted world. Seriously, the art style is amazing, accompanied by immersive sound effects. Explore diverse landscapes and biomes, battle on forgiving weather conditions and diseases to survive, but be careful, it's not the only danger that awaits you. You will encounter a variety of enemies on your way, from bandits to werewolves. Equip yourself with your trusty weapon and chop your way through victory. Don't forget to take breaks from adventures, meet and befriend townsfolk across Mirthwood, establish and grow relationships and, for most, have fun. In this beautiful pixel art game you play as a traveling chef tasked with reviving a once famous restaurant in the charming seaside town called White Ash Harbor. Begin a new life in this once thriving tourist destination and work towards becoming a master chef. You can, of course, hunt for food, harvest ingredients and shop for supplies. Along the way, befriend locals and help restore the town to its former glory. This is basically Stardew Valley, or Traveler's Rest, but more focused on cooking, so I don't know how about you, but I love the idea of being able to cook some great dishes. Nova game from Polish developer 11-bit studios, known for Frostpunk and many other amazing games. I place this title as one of the bigger games, as this studio is already quite big. So, even though it is still described as an indie developer, I think their projects are more AA games now. 
I would love to hear your thoughts about it. And now, with Frostpunk 2 coming to us this month, you have the great opportunity to try out the game if you haven't heard about it yet. This harsh and brutal economy management game and city builder takes us to a completely frozen world, where people develop steam-powered technology to oppose overwhelming cold. We will face the task of building the last city on Earth, and doing whatever is necessary for our community to survive as long as we can. Optimization and resource management are the most important tasks and often clash with hard decisions. We will establish our own laws to regulate the existence of our growing society, deciding their working routines, healthcare, food provision and so on. We have to keep them busy, happy, healthy, safe and fat, and it is not as easy as it sounds. We will also develop new technologies, react to current events, explore the frostland and make hard decisions. This game is truly amazing and I consider it one of the best resource management and city builder games of all time. You actually have to experience the beauty and challenge of this game and I will leave you with these words. Will you take up the challenge? If you like Monster Hunter or don't less, then this is for you. Terra is a monster hunting game but with a twist. You, armed with a mystical tether hook and agile glider wings, will lead your tribe in taking down the gigantic beasts, terrorizing and corrupting your homeland. This is a very important feature as the aerial combat will play a huge role in the gameplay and it will help you traverse the map as you hook and glide across the vast lands. So there is your typical Monster Hunter gameplay, where I think it's hard to say anything more. You will hunt monsters and acquire resources. Now, apart from that, you will also lead a tribe. You will gather more tribespeople, save them from beasts, build up your village and watch it grow. You will see how not only your tribe, but the whole colony grows. This is a mashup between a colony building game and monster hunting, so if you are looking for a classical experience but with the ability to manage your own tribe, then this one's for you. This game is not a farming sim, a life sim or even a survival or adventure game. This is something very unique. And I really mean it. I'm not sure how I would describe it, but this game is more about creating something than living a life or tending to animals or, or crops. This title lets you build anything you like, however you like. Gridless building allows you to do anything. Every pebble, every brick is carefully placed by the engine. You can build a house and create a path through the wall without worrying about how to do it. The game will handle it for you. There are no wrong answers, only creativity. You can build whatever you like and change your mind at any point. You can adjust everything you've built without needing to make another save or anything. I think I would describe this game as the equivalent of doodling, where you take a piece of paper and draw something. Here you take a piece of land and build something. You can create a pointy tower with some ruins and throw a ship inside it and it will look cozy. This is a game where you can chill and let your creativity take the wheel and drive. Now let's go with another cozy game. If you want to start your valley with Pokemon, then hear me out. This game is a narrative JRPG that mixes turn-based combat, monster taming and social RPG elements. You live in a 1960 Americana world and as Emery and her friends, you will save your cozy town from demonic creatures that live in the hearts of its residents. Yes, you will live a happy, peaceful life, exploring secret areas, hitting the gym, earning some money, working at the grocery store, making friends and doing some gardening. After all of this, you will jump through a portal to a space full of demons, death, dread and magic, accompanied by a humanoid Shiba Inu with a f casted. Yeah, I'm sold. Next on our list is a retro-inspired title. This is a run-and-gun arcade shooter where we fight the meat. An iron revenue's mass mutating everything in its path. We play as Vadim and we'll fight back against this meat, confronting mutated terrors, battling bosses and trying not to die. It's a very classic game with three different difficulty settings, multi-phase boss battles and a great graphical style. You can also play in couch co-op mode and face the meat invasion with your friends. There are various unlockables like skins and many more. This game looks great and will probably steal your heart if you've played retro games before. This is actually a game that gives the good old Contra vibes and now we will be able to play this game fully as it is releasing this month. And before we jump to game number one, I would like to show you some honorable mentions.
If you like classic games like Heroes of Distables, then I've got something for you. This beautiful looking game is a turn-based sci-fi strategy that combines exploration and exciting battles. As the description says, this is a new war in an ancient universe. Ruins are scattered all over the planet, strange modified monsters roam and there are high-tech elements. You will explore the planet, secure important resources, use them to upgrade your base with advanced technology and hire massive armies. You can play as several different factions, recruit commanders, teach them skills and much much more. This is actually a very classic experience, but in a different setup. It looks amazing and I hope it will bring some good old heroes vibes. And that's everything for today. I really hope you liked the video and found some great new games. I would love to hear what your favorite game from the list is, or what you are waiting for the most that isn't on the list. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with great indie games and new releases. And thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.